With me is the chairman of the United Progressive Party, Dame D. Giselle Isaac. We're standing outside on the premises of the High Court, just having heard Justice Drysdale deliver a ruling in favor of the respondent, um, Brother Kelvin Shuggy Simon. I see a beaming smile on your face, Dame indeed, Giselle. Indeed, indeed. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, yay, yay, let's get it on. <laughs> I know that might not sound very professional, but honestly and truly, I'm just relieved. I'm glad that this part of the Gethsemane um, journey is over and that we can get back to the people. They have demonstrated that he is their choice. They're willing to make him their choice again. And um, I do believe that democracy calls for this matter to go back where it began. And so I'm relieved and I'm pretty confident that Brother Kelvin Chuggy Simon will bring the victory home once again in convincing fashion. So I'm relieved, I'm happy, and I think it signals better things to come. And I understand you have organized a motorcade, the party, the, the constituency, the constituents, the supporters, they're here. And so from the grounds of the High Court, we're heading south, we're heading yes, to Set Dairy we South, south. I motorcade. Think this, I think this deserves a, a drive through Definitely. with some horns blowing and whatever. We're all here, our cars are here, so I think we should do the victory lap. And then at 2 o'clock, we're going to have a press conference. Is it 2? Yes. 2 o'clock, there'll be a press conference, so people will have their questions answered, and I guess they'll be able to send in questions via Facebook and so on. So we're organizing that for 2, but for now, we're going on the road. Thank you very much, party chair. Sure.